in today's episode, a solicited review of Camta of TechSmith's new Snagit 2019 product, the screen capture product. Full disclosure, I was provided a review copy uh, to uh, take a look at this thing. So if you're not familiar with screenshot software, it's really elementary stuff. You take a screenshot of your uh, screen or a portion of your screen, and then you go ahead and you use that picture as you would any other graphic things for like uh, presentations and stuff like that. In this regard, uh, Snagit really no different than uh, the, the default functionality on your computer. What makes it interesting are all the things you can do with the, the shots afterwards in the post-processing. So let's take a look at this. First, I'm going to take a screenshot of uh, some blog comments here. We've got the uh, lovely stuff here. Now, if I was going to just use this, let's take a picture of it. This in and of itself is, I would say, probably not the world's most interesting uh, picture, right? This is just comments on the blog. One of the things that I might want to do, and one of the coolest features, I think, is uh, the ability to simplify down a screen and or mask uh, PII, personally identifiable information. Now, in this case, it's already been uh, obscured by the commenting software, but there's, there's, there's still maybe more information than I would like. So I'm going to hit the auto simplify button here, and it's going to go through and essentially use a bit of machine learning to identify what the types of content that are on the screen, blocks of text, things like that. And then, as you can see, simplify it down. Uh, it re has reduced a lot of the screen down to just very basic stuff. Um, and then this could go in a screenshot. This is cool, again, because the PII aspect, I think, is cool. Let's take, take uh, any kind of uh, screenshot from any kind of application that you use for work, and you can mask out anything that doesn't belong, but still get a sense of the interface, still get a sense of uh, the layout, of the design. Uh, one of the things, if you look here, it's, it's done a really good job of, of just blurring out stuff uh, that is not the most relevant th uh, things and then of course for additional things you can just simply uh, draw on it and it'll it will attempt to to detect and, and remove additional pieces so that's cool i think that is a very very helpful uh particular type of tool the second thing and this is where uh if you if you ever provide tech support for your relatives um this is an essential feature it is the ability to record uh not only short tutorials as videos, but and then turn them even to, into animated GIFs. So let's look at this. I'm going to, again, take this here. Let's say we are working on our blog. I'm going to hit the video record button, turn on recording, and you can see the gives you a little countdown here. And then I'll go ahead and click on things like, is this a pending comment? Uh, clean out the pending comments, spam comments, things like that. I will turn off this uh, the recorder here. And what it's done is record a, a nice little video of this. Where this gets really cool, click the animated GIF button, choose screen video. It doesn't need to be super high fidelity. But by turning a screen recording into an animated GIF, this can then just go right inside of an email. So instead of having to, to call up your your cousin or your uncle or your, your dad or whatever and say, hey, you're going to walk them through the same procedure over and over again for uh, some kind of something technical, just send them the GIF. And then because it's a looping GIF, they can see it as many times as they want. Um, this has enormous value, you know, not only for relative tech support, but also for any of those business emails where... Uh, Somebody's got a question about something, you can just immediately throw that in there. Uh, when you are interacting as the consumer, as the end user, providing feedback to developers about an application, this feature is very handy. When you are, uh, and, and these this is a GIF file. It's an animated GIF, which means that you can then drop that into any place that accepts a graphic. So Slack, email, instant messenger, text messages, what it, wherever the case may be, you can do that right from uh, the application. Now, there are obviously are a ton of other uh, you know, interesting little features in here. One of the ones I thought was kind of cool was in there, um, in the stepwise thing, if you want to, again, do some tech support here, let's go ahead and just choose the, the red theme here. And you can then just click on here and say, okay, this is step one, then this is step two, this is step three, this is step four. And put these little annotations to help people understand to in the static graphics, this is the flow of what it is you're supposed to be doing. Um, it's a huge time saver because you can, you absolutely can do this in like PowerPoint or whatever, but it's going to take you a while. Uh, and there's, of course, all the other things. There's uh, stamps in here, which um, 
stamps are <laughs> I I if I personally don't clutter up my documentation with this ton of stuff, but I could definitely see for somebody where you wanted to include uh, specific uh, types of symbols uh, or you just want or you're just a person who likes to communicate with images rather than uh, words you know the Instagram generation if you love uh, stickers and labels and stuff in Instagram or Snapchat you'll love having this within your screenshots as well I don't know that I would use the, the I would do business communications that way but whatever makes you happy and then of course there are other other relevant features that we're all used to arrows call outs text and things like that but really to me, the, the standout features are that simplification feature uh, and then some of the stamps and things. I think those are those are really, really cool things. There's one other thing you can do. Um, you can do uh, what's called uh, auto-detect lift, where you can identify if you want to... Um, if you want to, uh, to uh, uh, find something in the in your drawing to select, it'll pull out the pieces and, and make it easier to grab individual pieces. I can't do that with this one because it's already been... Uh, now hang on here, let's see if we can do this. So let's take another screenshot here. Maybe we'll just do the right hand side of this page for now. And now on in this drawing, if I wanted to move some stuff around, I can choose move, choose smart move here. It's gonna go through and again, using some basic machine learning, identify things that I can just pick up and move around. So if I wanted to, for example, UI purposes, uh, do a mock-up of, of a take a mock-up of a page and rearrange here's what this page would look like with this content moved around now, this is kind of a ridiculous example but in the UI uh, business in the ad business if you're doing kind of any kind of ads uh, ad comps this would be invaluable for being able to rearrange a page and show what it would look like after changes were made while preserving the look and feel and you not having to recreate every single thing uh, within a, a design tool so Lots to uh, appreciate within the new Snagit 2019. If you are working with screenshots, if you're doing any kind of technical documentation, if you're providing tech support to your relatives, uh, or you want to be able to show in motion graphics uh, how these things work, this is definitely something to uh, to grab the, tr the free trial for. Try it out and uh, see if it makes your life easier. As always, please subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel and the newsletter, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Want help solving your company's data analytics and digital marketing problems? Visit trustinsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.